was super excited about this campaign of going into the public schools and talking to people about the silent killer of abuse. And if you've been through any kind of abuse, I want you to know that your voice makes a difference. You need to tell somebody. I think some of the students here, um, unfortunately, I think that we do have some things that go on um, that maybe, you know, that was shared um, by uh, Ms. Watson in her story. I do feel like maybe some of the kids do experience that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was good for them to hear somebody who has been through it and has come out on a good side mm -hmm. and, you know, has had a positive outcome. Mm -hmm. Students who haven't told yet that they can come out and share what and, and not be ashamed of it, mm -hmm. that they did absolutely nothing wrong, right. and that they could go speak to the counselor about it, right. and that they could see that they're, they could rise above it, and that you lived it, you got out of it, and that you basically are prospering as a result of that, and you're able to go out and tell others and spread your word. I think that was the biggest impact that you or Miss Watson made. And this man, that I'm having to call daddy, beats my brothers, he looks at me when I'm in the shower, he comes and lays in the bed with me and he touches me and he does things to me. And I just hated him and I hated my life. And, and I would cry so hard and I would tell him, I'm going to tell my mom what you're doing to me, what you're doing is wrong. And he said, if you ever tell anybody what I'm doing to you, I'll kill you. It's okay to, to let people know those things are happening that you want to let people know mm -hmm. if those kinds of things are happening. I think that just allows them to be able to, you know, open up about it and mm -hmm. and really just not be afraid, mm -hmm. you know, to, you know, that one voice and, and that mm -hmm. sort of thing and, and to share your story, make a difference, that sort of thing. I think it I think it would really help them to be more open. Probably the part where you contemplated suicide. It was just the most um the part that I could relate to the most. I mean, because it was just a long time ago, and mm -hmm. even recently, mm -hmm. it's just been really tough. And so now it's like the hope I needed in order to kind of go on. And, and that's the thing that we have to think about as teachers, you know, that I think constantly is that what is it that they're having to experience at home? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and bringing to school that I don't have any clue about, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to teach them, and they're not engaged. And you know, I might get on to them about not listening to me or you know, not being focused, but what is it really that they have on their mind, kind of thing? And it is, it's a struggle. It showed me that there's not only one person, like, that I'm not the only one that's being bullied if I'm ever being bullied, right? Which sometimes does happen. It just like helps me know what path to go to, mm -hmm. to go on and um, to like not really kill myself or right. go, to go through suicide. Right. You, you know, you didn't dodge anything. That you went, um, you know, straight to the more, most difficult kinds of things, and mm -hmm. um, even talking about the you know thoughts of suicide and the mm -hmm. and and how you were able to. You know, turn to one of your sources of strengths, your spirituality, to mm -hmm. find a way out of that. By talking about it, you're actually helping them heal and get past it. Right. And so I really appreciated how honest you were with your story. Several kids have walked up to me and said that they just have hope now and they've found hope. You're an inspiration for me and I get to learn a lot of things and that I can use in the future and it made me like learn that there's a lot of bad people out there and that you don't need to be like them. Right. And you just need to be yourself and be nice. Just really what you said about God, just what you said about how He was really your strength the whole, through all, all the way through your struggles, that really, really meant a lot to me. That really tugged on my heart. Even if they're not abused or they, I mean, any kind of adversity that they go through, they can see that, you know, there's always something worse that can happen to them and that despite the adversity that they can rise above it mm -hmm. and that they could, and even helping others who are going through that, they can share the book or share mm -hmm. the wisdom that you imparted on them. Just our message really about enemies and how making, you know, lemon, adding something sweet, making lemonade out of lemons and... Like you could be having a good day and then like something really bad happens. Mm -hmm. You should just like take that moment and just make something good out of it. If people were ever run into something bad and they're like, this is really bad, I should commit suicide. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't commit suicide. They should think of like all the good things that have happened, the good things that will happen. I just want to say thank you to everybody that has um, sowed a seed in this ministry 
and to tell you to please keep praying for me, keep praying for this ministry that I can go into more schools and reach out to more students. It actually meant a lot for me. I can't really describe it, but it changed my perspective on things. It, it was just awesome. It made me change a lot inside.